Stanford University dropped this amazing research tool, which is called Storm. And to be honest, I absolutely love this tool. Storm is an open source research project from Stanford University. And this is created to make it easy for anyone to use AI for research purposes. So if you scroll on their GitHub, you can see how it actually works. So you give it a topic, whether it is a word, a phrase, or a sentence, and it will go on and do some pre-writing, brainstorming, and exploring the topic from different perspectives. Later on, it will compose an outline as well as fetch the references, and then it will finally compose the full length article. Now you can get started with it. You can just clone this GitHub repo and then use it locally on your machine, but you can even go on and work with their playground, which would be something like this. Here, you don't have to pay a single penny. You don't have to use the OpenAI's API key or the web search API from you.com. I tried this out with a sentence here. And as you can see, it gave me a pretty good article right here with all the outlines. This is pretty good. And the best part is you get all the references in the article and then you can just go and click on show as PDF and download this as a whole PDF. So in this way, whether you're researching, working on your thesis or just researching for the sake of it, you can use this amazing AI to be more productive and efficient. But in this video, we're not just going to test out the cloud version. We're actually going to go and install this locally and then test it out with the OpenAI's API key. You can even go on and use the Azure API key as well. It's up to you, but I'm gonna go with the OpenAI API key and you might need a few things. First of all, you will have to have Git installed on your machine as well as Conda or Anaconda, which is a Python runtime environment that you must have to actually create this environment and run this repository. Then you will have to have pip, which is the Python package manager. You must have it installed on your machine so that you can install all the requirements that are inside the requirements.txt file. And this is all you need. As for the API keys, you must have an account with OpenAI and you must have an API key there. As you can see, this is the key that I just created for Storm and it has never been used. Of course, I'm going to remove this key before publishing the tutorial. And the next thing that you need is the web search API from u.com. Now u.com have different pricing plans, but it also provides you a trial period of 60 days for free. So I'm gonna go and generate an API key with u.com, which is going to be inserted in the secrets.toml file right here. So this was all the requirements and everything that you need to set this up locally on your machine. So without further chatter, let's dive right into it and start setting up our very own Storm locally on a machine. Hi, this is your host Shamrez. Welcome back to Skill Curve. Finally, we're moving to the practical part. Now, first things first, let's go and explore the cloud version of Storm. For that, all you have to do is just click on try it now and there you go. Now you can enter a simple word, a phrase or even a sentence and it will create a whole full-fledged article upon that word. And notice one thing, there's a coming soon feature which is a human AI collaboration mode which will be available soon. And I'm waiting with excitement for this feature. So now without further ado, I'm just gonna go and say lines here. And here you will have to elaborate what is the purpose of writing this article. So I'm just gonna say information, research about line, that's it. And let's go and proceed. Now, as you can see that it is actually generating the article. It may take up to three minutes, but usually it gets done before that. It is actually identifying the topic from different perspectives. So let's just wait for a minute. And there you go. It barely took it two minutes to generate the whole article for us. And as you can see, the table of contents is here. There's everything from taxonomy and evolution, and there's even physical description, behavior, habitat and distribution, conservation status, and cultural significance. And there's much more. And this is the whole thing it generated with just one single word here. You can even go and see the whole brainstorming process here. So this is how it actually went on and created this whole article. It has different AI agents, like there's an agent for basic fact writer who will generate questions and then search over the web and compose answers for those questions. And then there is a taxonomist, an ecologist, and a wildlife biologist. So all of these different AI agents generate different questions and then compose the answers from web search and scrapping data from over the internet. And once all the data is collected, they actually go on and then compose this in an organized manner. So this was the cloud version of Storm. Now let's dive into installing this locally on your machine. So I'm here inside my VS Code and now all I have to do is just say git clone and go back to the GitHub repo and here scroll up here to code and just copy this snippet and back here in my VS Code, I'll just have to paste that here and hit enter. 
this will actually go on and clone the Storm GitHub repo inside this folder. Once you're done, now you will have to install the requirement. You can either use this terminal or you can use the Anaconda's PowerShell prompt. So I'm going to go with this one. Just go back to their GitHub page and all you have to do is just copy this and start pasting this inside the terminal. Now what this will do is it will create a new environment named Storm with Python 3.11. So I'm going to go and hit enter and you might have to install a few packages. Just say yes or why to install all the packages. Now once you're done creating your environment, you can just copy this and paste it here to activate that environment or you can just go with the original guide here. It will do the same thing. Just copy this and paste this right here. The same thing as here and this will activate the storm environment which you can see right here. So once you're inside the storm environment which is active, you can finally go on and install all the requirements. So I'm gonna go copy this, go back to my terminal, just paste this and hit enter. So there you go, all the requirements are downloaded and installed. Now what you need to do is just create a secrets.toml file inside your VS code. So in here, in my VS code, all I need to do is just create a new file here, which is gonna be secrets.toml. Inside this file, I just have to copy all of this and paste this right here. Now we're not using the Azure API, so I'm gonna go and remove that from here. As for the API key for OpenAI, I'm just gonna go and paste that right here. There you go. As for the search API key from u.com, I'm gonna go and generate that. So here on u.com, in the API key dashboard, all you have to do is just click on this generate button here and it will generate the web search API for you. Now you must have an account with view.com and they have a free plan which gives you a trial of 60 days for free. So you can use that. I'm just gonna go and generate an API key here and I will paste that API key right here. And once you're done adding your API keys, you just have to save the file. Now with that, your secrets.toml is complete. But if we go to their GitHub repo, you can see that you can run strong wiki locally using all these command line key bindings. But you also have another great option, which is if you go to the front end part here, you can see that you can actually run this inside Streamlit. And for that to work, all you have to do is just copy this file and just paste this inside the streamlet here. And that's all. Now, once you're done with your secrets.toml, to actually run this streamlet app, all you have to do is just go to your terminal. And here on your terminal, you just have to move to the front end directory. And inside the front end directory, you have to go to the demo light folder and hit enter. Now you can finally just say streamlet run and run the storm.py file. And as you can see, it is running on local URL, localhost 8501, which is this one here. And you can just start using Storm locally on your machine. So I'm gonna go and test this out here. As for the topic for this test is going to be a sentence rather than just a single word, as we already tested a single word in the cloud playground that they provide on their website. So this time I'm gonna go and talk about Donald Trump. So I'm gonna go and say Donald Trump's future in politics. And that is all. Let's go and head to research. And as you can see, it started the brainstorming process and it might take around two to three minutes. And if you click here, you can actually see everything that is doing. So for now, it is just identifying different perspectives for the topic that we provided here. And if you go to the terminal, you can see the requests that are being made as you can see here, it is making a request through the OpenAI's API key. So back to the app, you can see the information that it gathered from the first step, which is identifying different perspectives. And now it's actually browsing the internet, visiting different sources and collecting data from them. Once it is done with collecting data from the internet, you can see that it said finish collecting information. Now it is actually organizing the information in the hierarchical outline. And there you go, as you can see, it collected all the information. And here are a few AI agents. The first AI agent is the basic fact writer. Then there is campaign strategist. And there is historian and political analyst, as well as the policy expert. So what they do is they generate relevant questions about the topic. Once all the questions are answered for each of these agents, then they compose the whole article, which is actually being done right here, where it is actually going on and connecting all the information from different sources. And there you go, it actually connected all the information and the final article is now ready. All you have to do is just click on show final article and here is your article. In the left side, you can see the table of content in which you can see different outlines like the early life and education. There is business career, political career, post-presidency, 
this future in politics as well, as well as the personal life and the cultural impact. And if you go down, you can just go on and choose any of the references, let's say this one, and it will give you the reference and the highlights of what it got from this reference. All in all, this is just mind blowing and I love the way that it created the full article for us and the table of contents as well. And we didn't have to do much, just a simple sentence about a topic and you get a full-fledged lengthy article ready for you with all the references and you can just cross check the information if you want to by just clicking on any of these links. So now you can just go to my articles and you can see that you have this Donald Trump's article. You can go and create a new article by clicking here, just like that. So the local UI is pretty simple and really basic, which makes it really easier to grasp and use. To be honest, Tom is really a revolution in the field of research and writing. And of course, this has become my personal favorite. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. We will continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.